Hi, I'm Melissa from Resilience Law, and I'm talking to you today about what to expect at your federal disability retirement hearing. If you've applied for federal disability retirement and you've been denied at both the initial stage and the reconsideration stage by the Office of Personnel Management, at that point, your next step is to file an appeal with the Merit System Protection Board and go forward to a hearing with them. Although OPM can settle at any point during the process, if there's no settlement on the table, then it will come down to a hearing, which is done telephonically. And uh, the hearing is a, a formal hearing. Although you won't be in front of the judge, there will be a judge or an administrative magistrate on the line. There will be an attorney kind of against you hired by OPM to represent OPM's interest and make sure that only people who are really eligible for disability retirement get paid out and you will be on the line. This is typically a process where it's extremely valuable to have an attorney, uh, although I know it's difficult for people who are seeking disability retirement because typically they're already out of work and they have other medical conditions that make it difficult for them to, uh, you know, perform any work and get any income. Uh, you know, getting your federal disability retirement benefits will support you for the rest of your life. So it's you know, it can be extremely helpful to a claim to have an attorney present. If your claim is denied at the hearing level and you did not have an attorney present, it's very, very hard to fix afterwards. Uh, so I certainly would urge anybody who has already been denied twice for their federal disability retirement to seek out an attorney who specializes in that kind of thing to help them prepare for the hearing. Because again, this is a full formal hearing. Uh, evidence will be entered. There are particular rules regarding that evidence. There's rules about how testimony can be elicited, elicited and uh, given. And so, you know, if you don't have an attorney, if you don't have someone on your side advocating for you, uh, it can be extremely overwhelming and it may not, you may not be able to represent your claim in the best light possible. My name is Melissa. I'm at Resilience Law. We do this kind of work. If you have any questions or if you need any help, give me a call. Let's get started.